In this video, I will show you how to create mega menu for a new WordPress website completely free. Today, I will show you how to create mega menu like this and this will be completely free. This is an Elementor based website. So if you don't have the Elementor plugin installed, you just need to install and activate the Elementor free version and you are good to go. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. So first from the dashboard, I'm going to install a new plugin. So going to plugins and going to add plugin here. This is a Elementor based website. So we already have installed the Elementor plugin and also I'm going to install a plugin for mega menu. This is also based on Elementor. So if you don't have the Elementor in this website, you need to install the Elementor first to, to activate this mega menu plugin. All right, so after that, I'm going to install another one elements kit. This is the plugin elements kit, elementor add ons and template. Going to install this one and activate. Now going to appearance and menu. And this menu is now working as our header menu. So if we check the live website beside this, so this is the header menu at this moment. And here is the menu. So now, Elements kit mega menu enable this menu for mega menu content. We need to enable it. And also we see here they are saying after enabling this, you need to use elements kit header footer module with elements kit nav menu widget. All right. So for now I'm saving it. We have to recreate our header and we need to add this module to enabling this mega menu so for that going to element kit and header footer option and here is some basic settings we need to continue with the basic settings here is options you can check and you can change anything now or even you can do it after completing the settings now going to next step next you can go to continue and next step going to complete setup go to the dashboard all right now again going to header and footer and here add new template i'm typing the title you can type anything i'm typing header and type will be header it will work for entire website and activating and save changes now again going to edit and going to edit content And from here, we can create our header from scratch or we can add any ready template and then we can customize it. So here options add elements kit template. So from here, we can get some ready template for header going to sections, scroll down or sorry, we can type header. And now if I scroll down, here is different kind of pre-made layout. We can take any one. I'm taking the simple one, the second one. Now we can customize it in the left side. Here is a normal image. So here we can add our logo. So here I did not use any image. We are using a text. So instead of image, we can use the text module. So here I'm typing text and here is the heading. So we can take this one and I'm typing this text. We can remove this image and here we can customize the text style so typography and we can decrease the font size and font weight all right we can keep it and we can add link with this logo and here this will be the nav menu select menu so here i'm selecting the header menu header primary and on the very right side here is the search and the menu icon so we can also customize this we can remove the border and adding some top margin to fix it and here you can change the alignment or anything if you need you can go to edit the container and from advanced sorry not from here
all right so that's okay for now i'm going to save our header and now if we refresh the page so you can see the new header is added now i'm going to add mega menu with this menu item so for that again going to dashboard now going to menu appearance and menu and here under the about if i go to mega menu and here is the enabling option going to enable it and you can save it also going to edit mega menu content and here in the same way we can create our mega menu design from scratch or we can import any pre-made or ready layout from here going to add elements kit template going to sections and from here if i search by mega menu and we see here is some ready layout for mega menu so we can use any of it from here and in the bottom here is some pro options and these are free okay i'm going to try the first one going to insert and you see the menu template is imported and now you can add your own content instead of this dummy info so for example here is the text furniture so instead of this you can add the category name or any text instead of this so if i go to subtitle so you see this text is coming from here so you can add your own text and for this link if i go to edit so here is the this item so here is the text and here we can add our own link so here you can add your list of products or list of pages or anything in the same way and also here is a image this is just for increasing the design look or look it more professional so instead of this image you can add your own product image all right for now i am saving it and crossing it from the settings here is also some options like default width full width custom width and also mega menu position so if we set it to full width and instead of relative for now if i save it we can see i'm saving it and save menu now if i refresh and here we can see it's showing the mega menu in this way now from the settings going to about going to settings and this is now full width and relative but i want to show it as default position so going to save it and now if i refresh again and we see it's now looking perfect all right now in the same way i'm showing you how to create another one from scratch so for that again if i go to blog and enabling it from settings full width default and save and going to content again going to saving it for now and edit mega menu content and this time i'm going to create another mega menu from scratch so going to the plus icon flexbox and here we can select any structure i'm taking the fourth one and for the first one we can take image or we can take image box so here we will take a image and below the image we can add some text so i'm taking this one and here i'm going to add a image taking some random images and here we can remove this long text and for the short length text we can add some dummy for example if i go to block page here all is dummy so for example this one I'm taking this title and now from the style tab we can increase the image size so if i go to image and making the width to 100 percent and for the text i'm going to text and the typography we can decrease the font size and font weight we can make it to normal all right and this spacing we can decrease it so image spacing we can decrease it to zero right we can keep it like this and from content if we want to add these sections with our specific blog post link 
so we can copy the link and add it here and saving it we can also delete the another column and now we can duplicate the column several time so i did it fourth time and now i'm changing the image and text for these three others all right so i'm done and now if i save the page and refresh it from here you can see it's showing the structure but the background is blank so we need to add a background so if i go to the edit container and from style tab from here i'm going to add the white color background and also you can add some spacing or padding in top so padding in top we can add 50 or 30 and below we can add 10 yeah good now saving it and now refresh all right perfect so we can also increase the design as you like so if you think here you can add some borders or if you like to add some more sections more content you can easily do that all right now going back i'm crossing it saving it cross and finally saving our menu so that's all for now also this menu will be completely responsive so if we check from the responsive view and if i go to about so we see all the menu item is showing as responsive and the same thing for the second one all right so that's all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time also you can comment below if you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial more or if you have any preferred topic which you like to see you can also let me know in the comment and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video